Nicole will feed to show you how to make a frog. No, oh, put a frog into the game. And this guy's from most of the animals. This is specifically a frog. I do have a full on series that does it from the drawing state to the putting it in the system state, which is what we're going to be doing today. Going to do all that. Today, but with the frog. That's a little dog, too. <laughs> I kind of like that it's coming off. Kind of Alright, let's make a bottle of volume. It's such a disorganized mess. I think that's why, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll show you what he looks like first. So this is little fella. We make a new frame. New empty frame so we can see them all. I guess I could tell it ignore the tags. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So you get excited to see that little fella. So he's all four ways too. If you want to know how to do that, all you do is go to file, export sheet, and I did it five by five. And then just press export and save that. You gotta make sure you save it or you'd be like, where the heck is this a bit off to? That was 65 frames. I'll just show it up like a really nice building with the build of the builder's front. I wouldn't like another turn out. And there's some food animals. What is he specifically called? Oh, he is called the tree bug. I thought I might have called him something different in there because it's a high possibility. Then we go to import, then we go percent. Percent is two leaf put to work. Boom, put that bad boy in there. So now what I gotta do is actually, hmm, I'm gonna be annoying to myself. Let's go. Once you've got this concept down, what I like to do is copy uh, and more previously and then paste it down again just to make my, make it my work a little faster. So what I did there was went to other nodes and find connect body. And if you just press the node, you can just easily go change children around here somewhere or change type. We go put this little foggy on here. Okay, one way is five, which is top one. Hang on. That's five times ten. Or five times thirteen because sixty is twelve. There's our math. So we got it here, horizontal is this way, and it's just 13. Look at my little book, Granny Fog. It was actually is based on the Australian shape on this one, is the intention. I don't know if I picked this up good or not as well, might be an encountered problem we might want into, but... Oh, that is a problem with the art more than anything. We have to touch those again later. Actually, we do that right now. Uh. So now while we're after top boxes, I'm going to actually open one of these ones as a base so you don't miss out on anything. Let's go to Bottle Collie. And also, I just like to show off the Bottle Collie. <laughs> If I'm truly being honest. So he's got pattern. We need shadow. Don't forget about the shadow. I forgot about that in the last one. This one is not the round shadow. Shadow and one is the round shadow. There we go. Make sure it is above this so then it's not over on top. So we really need to minimize the shadow. We need to also go find a thumb clip top boxes. Uh. Oh, that works. This one's to move it around so you don't click on anything else, and this one is to you, know, you can still like do all, but it's kind of annoying if you just want to move one thing. Oh, there you go. That's what it does. Hmm. And there's even W as a shortcut. Eventually, I'm gonna end up public learning, guys. <laughs> okay, so we need to find an O for top boxes. It's that next one. So, where is the top boxes these days? Top boxes, there we go. And then we make that local. Nicole, this is meant to be a folder of all these boxes. 
We highly recommend doing that personally. So we're gonna have to wee line everything and make sure you wee line everything. Um, uh, maybe I'll add a tag to this one. I don't know. Play detection, move it on the middle, soft collider, wonder controller, tech range, move it there. Oh, we also got sound. So this one here is pretty simple. All it is is this a sound play and a timer. So at the end of the time, it will make a noise. Like for the sample, I haven't actually didn't really think about actively looking for a sound, but you can make it do a webbit, webbit or whatever. Oh, in our case, let's make it be a bark. <laughs> is that going through a different audio system? No, no. I feel like this is one for a different audio system. Alright, maybe you didn't hear it. No way for me really telling if you did or not. Oh well. Um, so we, so all these are their own no things too, their own things. We extend these. Actually, you might just keep a passive. You gotta figure out how to attack them before. I will, I'm keeping my passive one. I didn't really intend to decide for them to be evil. Actually, hmm. I might keep that attack wing in. I might do something interesting with him later. You know, I might get him to catch some flies. I actually do plan to put like a little black dots around this for fries. Just because, why not? Hopefully, he doesn't end up in any any bad position, you know. So for count time, I just want a circle collider. I want to make the baby small, and also move it here. And I also want to disable it so it doesn't get disabled. Okay, looks like we keep pressing the save buttons. Now we go up to L's to save it. So I've been pressing controls S if you don't know that. Defog. Oh, hang on, I'll do this first. I recommend changing up here before you save. Because then you knock out two. Knock out two birds with one stone, the violent thing. Oh, look at that, it said what I was looking at. There we go. Then we have to add a collide at this. That's the reason why it's been whinging at me. If you're wondering what it's been doing, or you've just been dead yelling, why the heck are you not adding a collider? That's what they are. 90 degrees turned. We want to do the circle collider. We're living the over life with these animals. More likely you're going to get kidnapped if we don't be living the overlife. The circle life. Down there. And then our soft collider. If we look in here. Is basically telling something not to be on top of each other. So, phone bouncing out. There we go. We got position there. So it's global position. So whenever these overlap, it's basically adding a pushing force, which moves them away from each other. Then the Coca Corporation company. So it's adding a vector, but if it's not overlapping, it's not applied. So we do an oval shape again, over life. Let's go on that. That. Same spot, that one has to be bigger. There we go. That's a good size for that. That box, is that the right one? Yep. Yeah. Um, we can go a circle life for this one.
I need to change the side of that. There we go. And then about there. You might go there. Or the circle eye. Depending on the animal. Mm. I think. Did I use a circle? Did I do circle eye for you, doggy? No. I did over life for them. Depends on the animal. This one is small. And like he's more. Mm, He's that same height as he is wide. You see, he's a bit of a rectangle, but he's not much of a rectangle as <laughs> the dog or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe Circle Life is better. Hmm. Nice. Oh, yes. We also got to add life to this, which is this. So that's the function for life. Um, the regeneration stuff isn't fully done, so don't worry about that stuff. And that's the get set, so that's the set, max health, equals, um, the get set, and health. No health means it's dead. <laughs> the center single that is dot. And change health, max health. And this is the set health down here. I forgot what half of this going means. This is just as if you were clearly. I don't know, but it is burning down and it works. So for the regeneration stuff, I haven't actually done too much into it. Although I did do a bit into this to get phantom hearts. I have showed those off in um, what's outside to get like something like called shadow hearts. I don't know, I might add it in here too. You know, I know Jagan. Um, you can get what's outside on itch.io. Well, only a few dollars. Actually, it's only two bucks. Wonder Coachella? This is the code for... No, that's not the code for Wonder Coachella. Here's the code for Wonder Coachella. So, I, I really know how this one works, <laughs> oddly enough. So here you go, starting position, target position. Your target position is what they go for work, no matter what's in the world. I do want to make this more advanced, which I will do later, and I'll do a video on that. But this is what we got so far. There's a good time left. So it, go, it does go by a timer. So if the timer runs out and they haven't got to the target position, they're just like, well, I'll go wander over here now. It's something I do plan to always keep with the sheep as well. I feel like they are the type who will run into everything, especially the first sheep, probably. I also want to do something really exciting with when I get to the snow area with their kind of sheep, with the snowy merinos, which is the old fellow running around amongst the fellow sheep. And I want to have them like jump out of the snow or have noises of them jumping out of the snow. I feel like that would be such a cool feature. Yeah, then it goes, once time is out, it goes to update position, which chooses from random position. Of the box around itself so you can make this into a rectangle but right now it's a square a 32 square so it's got a minus so that's x this is um x and y coordination or coordinates so i think that's x is first and then it goes y is the second one that's why you got the minus in front of it because it's uh coordinates on a map and then you got uh, target position equals start position plus target vector. Mm. Which is start position is the current position they're in, so that's how that one works. We also got the tack range here. Now uh, you can look at that in the dog. <laughs> when we get that going. I did show you this. That's all the animal is. I didn't even bother giving the code names for these. It was that simple. Okay, I think I did everything else. We also need animation player. Move it up from here. And animation tree. There we go. What do we got into here? We got it. And animation node state machine. We go into here and we go add burn space 2D. 
I do. Make that start one. Tap that. Make sure you select it, and that's the start one. I just remember that I could do that for the dog. <laughs> but I, mean, I haven't got caught up in that position, have we? Also, gonna do that as the next video too for the dog. I want to go up here. There we go. So we got jumping, eating, and that's it. <laughs> Okay, so jumping would be basically the same as walking. He jumps instead of walks. And then we go down eating, which is going to be a random animation that happens. So I guess in a way he does differ from what I've done before in his own way. But the same way he doesn't. Um, I need to move my mouse pad over. At one point it went off the mouse pad so you would have heard the pouncing. There we go. So I have to move into here. Ah, whoops. I have to go into here and fix it up. Make sure these are two dots. This is 0 0.1. I have to do that for every single one, but I do this first. Animation 2. Idle. Uh, so we've done hurt box, soft box, uh, we've done everything, have we? That doesn't matter if I choose to do it. I'll move those up together. I'll knock them out. I'll move this up here too. I might do something fancy with it. Might not. Hopefully I don't have to do anything fancy with it. I feel like I can just keep it around so we can see the pug jumping about. So if not, well then I will exterminate them. Wow, I'm now skinning the weapons I just did. <laughs> and I think that was ever meant to be a weapon. So we also, on our layers here, so we got layer number four, which is Hurtbox Collider, which is working for attack. This is its own Collider 2, um, Collider number six. I did it on the wall, but I look at it too. I don't know exactly if it, you know, works. <laughs> or does it, or it's useless or not. And then this, the attacker's got a mask for the player. I'm gonna change the way it can attack any animal. And damage any animal as well. But let's go with that. So, what we need to do is mark the fog. Boom. I made this fog really simple, because, well... Why not? Should I only be two? Yeah, it so says only two idle. Jumping and eating is the most complex animation, so we go live that because Bob's gotta be hanging here. Save. I think you can make likelihoods of stuff a bit more. You can change the likelihoods of some things too, I, be I believe. Of just putting. When the, like when the, what I did for the weather was put in like a one to a hundred chance of something happening. So it doesn't really random, it will mix it up a little bit. That's what I did for the drops as well. And you gotta go for that, don't we? So let's go with position, pin this bad boy. In the position of the hurt box, in the size, in scale, blend. Oh, I didn't click it. Yeah, ideally I would like that to be better into a trim with that. I hope it is in Godot Fall. I'm still in Godot Fall here. Yeah. Then it's the same man is saying every time that fails to do its job. I ain't gonna worry about that. Don't have to worry about that one. Oh, you definitely have to worry about this one down here. Nope, excuse me. Pin this position, pin the scale. Make sure that with the scale that you change it, change it to 0 0.5 mentally. Instead of just, you know, resizing it like this, or you're gonna get very annoyed. 
my personal opinion. Oh yes, and assign this to the animation player so it doesn't feel like it wants to murder something. And then we go duplicate. Next is oh, whoops, hang on, I just realized I didn't put the we name. Idle left. Then we go duplicate. Jump in left. Easy jumping boy. Jumping. No, oh, hang on. This is not how you spell jumping. <laughs> I don't even know. Is there meant to be double P's in it? I feel like there's not meant to be double P's in it. Oh wow. Leave a comment on my bad spelling if you desire. No. <laughs> Kind of also joke, but it's probably gonna add like more chappy towards the video if you judge upon my bad spelling. Uh, let's go up here. I'm wandering around. I feel like I'm just wandering around like a maniac sometimes, you know. I probably went overboard. Ten, eleven. I oh, know. I went a lot. Oh, that very last flame is not. There we go. No. So it starts at zero. So you have to do one down from where you are in a swipe or whatever you're using, because you know, that doesn't really start from zero. <laughs> And then I think it's about here, why? Zero point six. Let's go with this. When we do zero point seven, just get that slow. Yeah. At slow takeoff. So what it is is that means that last frame is two seconds longer. So then it has a bit more of a west position. I feel like that's a better way of doing the jump. I want to move this up at the moment. And got there, is it? Duplicate. I have to move the shadows too with this one. I just realized that. And top boxes. Position move up. I don't want you to be moving around. Now I have another problem called Little Pesty Collider. Might put him in here. And tell it not to do that. Move it down and still into here. Now time to move the shadow. I like that shadow where it is there. I might move it to. I might have to extend it by one. There we go. And then we go to here. We do the sides. Oh boy. 
away to me. Guess who forgot about a goddamn shadow? <laughs> Excuse me as I do this for a moment. Lucky enough we didn't get too far on this. Excuse me, get out of my way, you bloody damn collider. All I want is the shadow. At this point then, let me have the shadow. Okay, now we also need to tell don't be a dick, don't stay still, because you're being a pain in my ass. Okay, we <laughs> You probably could just do the dots for every single one, but I don't really recommend it if you don't want to do the. Just saves you a bit of extra work. Just do it as you go, I feel like, in the most effective way of doing it sometimes. As long as you pin it so that everything's at. As long as you pin everything at the start, it doesn't really matter if everything is like on the dots or not. So let's go. I'm pretty sure I like, ticked the box so we can like this one scales. At one stage, I don't know. Sure, but I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, come on. No, bad. Bad box. I pity it doesn't just take it calling it bad to fix it. No. I can't just call it bad. I'm pretty sure it's meant to get bigger when you go up. It usually is, because my behinds are so big. Oh yeah, um, everything on the end here. No, I don't want that one little bastard down there. Excuse me, F off. <laughs> there we go. There was the little fog, one angle at a time. Yay. Go back to idle, let's duplicate you. For the eating, because well, I don't want kind of want to <laughs> deal with the other stuff. Oh. And I'll go back to the jumping. Go back to eating. Now we're at the perfect flame. I'm going to start off with 10. Do what's that? There we go. Then we also need an end sequence to this as well, which we'll add back in later. Actually, this, I'm just going to keep it like that. You guys can probably change up the shadow and everything like that and make it all nice and fancy. So now we will go off to the next part of these baby boys.
and let's go I guess this I I guess this um blah words I guess this one's all right let's duplicate it now let's go with font so this is idle font we press ok on mundo we move all the way back up here we delete this move all the way back down now this is the part where you either gonna be annoyed as hell or you're gonna be successful at it <laughs> I also realized we went into a fault. I guess one hurt. I'm doing hmm. Do a point five on oh, other way. Yeah, we forgot the pin this position as well. What? A pain in my ass. Yay. This only pins what the position of the spider's in. As soon as I did it, it doesn't look like I made to move anything because I did it within the spider itself. It'd be alright. Very different game animation. You you need to figure out how to make something move in one spot, and then when you put it in the game, make it move. Oh, whoops! Did I change this fifty times? Yes, I did. Loop this bad boy. It's looping all night and day. We go minus 0 0.5. Pin this bad boy. Oh, fix me. You know what? I don't actually mind the look at the sizes of those colliders. They look pretty good. I don't mind this one, so this one can stay. But I will make this one a little bit smaller. So I do 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Mm-hmm. I like to look at that. What about this one? 0 0.9, 0 0.9. And make sure you change these mainly. I don't know what it was, but I'm pretty sure I did something with the shadow to make it so I can change these without doing this. But of course, Civ Memory can't remember that. How dare Civ Memory not be a Civ? <laughs> I did not save it, did I? Or did I? No, I did. I just realized something that is frustratingly annoying. Again! <laughs> that wasn't even on me this time. I swear I pushed that button. <laughs> time to go back through them all. Yay. Okay. But in a way, as much as I'm cursing you at the moment, it is quite helpful to have it like that. Because anything that's on 0 0.8, if you decided, oh, I'm going to change it, everything on 0 0.8 with the colliders would be the same size as that thing, as what you changed, and everything on 1. Let's say I wanted to make that circle collider bigger on the sign, is on scale 1. So that means scale 1 it can be bigger and smaller, and everything on scale one size has got to be bigger and smaller. In a way, I have both respect for it and un mild annoyance in that. Because really, no one really explained that to you. Well, I'm explaining to you now, which is great about it. I just realized that probably one of them people will go for this detail. Oh boy. <laughs> or maybe they're small. Maybe I'm just blind. Well, at least the toy I was to these first animals did not have like that explanation. 
So, it saves you trying to murder something? I'm here to save your sanity. Months on going. <laughs> okay, now we got jumping fun. Yeah, I feel like it's very important. And I do have mild I do have mild respect for that. I do feel like it'd be annoying going back and changing everything back. There we go. 0 0.7 oh not 10 I've done the plants for these type of colliders this animation played before as well oh yeah I forgot to that one is a bit on me change it to shadows copy the position there we go Want. So we got here, here, we save that position, and 0 0.6. I bring this up, we do this, highlight all this, duplicate it here because it's back on the ground. Hope you a whole ton of work, you better want to do that. <laughs> Uh, so, fog pounces up here, which means we want to move top colliders. That's the reason why I also have the parent too, so we can do this without causing any pain to yourself. <laughs> Make sure it's not our indigenous. Plan is play murder if it is. Yeah, full permission to plan this murder. But I have fun when I was doing uni, it was worse than this, so. I'm me and uni. Never got along. That's the first one I was using before this one. I actually will wait to do the shadow. Don't know if I did that properly or not. But sometimes you go for things. And you don't want to go for them again. Okay, truth be told, I don't know what. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of hard. Hurt Collider, you have been the bane of my existence during this video. Stop thinking you're special, my friend. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Mm, yeah. I don't know, I mean, it's everything you can always go back to some forwards on. I'm going to do a bit on today with the main menu, which is going to be cool for you all. I've also decided to those guys who like taking strange shots without the UI and everything to do... So, because I also want a strange shot without the UI in my world. <laughs> A function where you can turn off the UI, like F1 in Minecraft, would probably be the best example. I mean, there's plenty of other games. Not too recently we downloaded it. I don't know why I didn't download it sooner again. I downloaded a mod pack that I haven't tried out yet. I mean, I tried out a poster to it, so like something like from various versions, but that's really it. So that jump doesn't seem very, you know. Out there, it looks a bit better. I mean, I'm gonna do the loads of the crocheting stuff too. I'm kind of glad I picked that up. Do this little thing, and like it's kind of like knitting, but it said I don't have to have 50, but I don't have to have like two hooks, things, or whatever. It seemed like why. 
I don't know about you guys, but I was like, when I see knitting and there's like two things, I'm always like, why? This seems like overkill how many gear you need. And just gonna show yourself all I need is a hawk and a bee yarn <laughs> to do anything with the little dogs. I did feed dinosaurs and now I'm doing a fourth dog. <laughs> you can kind of see what, what I like. I'm like, I've done the dinosaurs for a little bit at the beginning, but now I've done the dogs. Then my third dog did turn out very nice, so he's all really cool. Everything got a bit uneven on him. The second one, really nice, but the second dog. And the first dog, I just did all white because I wasn't confident on changing colours. So the second dog was a real proper border collie look to him. I gotta duplicate this, is what I'm thinking. So I gotta go front idol. Yeah, I feel like it's really coming along, dude. That's actually pretty fun to do. And I just want to do something really simple where I could do in front of my computer with little to no mess, although there is little bits of thread hanging around every corner. And I feel really cool using, yeah, I mainly want to use Australian made wool. I feel like they should, people should refine the wool more. And I own. Farms, I feel like is the next best step to do. That's the problem, this system's broken. There we go, we got the fun and nation. And the people still doing it. I hope you're doing alright. Anyone who's still doing commercial farming. We need to go idle earth. If you ever want back to thinking, thinking about cleaning a job that you hate, there is things you can do. Might as well jump into the darkness and try something new because if it's gonna send you mad saying where you are, it's not worth your sanity. But there's a difference between going mad because it's something you like doing and going mad because it's something you actually really hate. I don't know, I have not found anything that I hated as much as I did in school. <laughs> I never really liked being in that type of environment, personally. I, even, I don't know, I expect to find something that I dislike as much as that, but I haven't <laughs> ever since leaving school, which is really nice. Usually, I don't know, I never kind of understood this, but usually you know the feel when you like doing something. I never really knew this until I did find something I like doing. I do like doing game development. I also like going to the gym, which is very really nice. Like, I'm not even with my hated machine, a machine I really hate in the gym. I've never had the same thing I did with school. I don't know, I just hated that place. Hated like waiting for the bosses and every single time. That idea that I can't wait for even the bosses where I am nearby here, which is half the time. At this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've been watching for this long, <laughs> you must really want to see things. So we keep on um, adding in all the sides and everything. I'll, I'll leave the oldest part in <laughs> in the last bits I just did there.